Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, we're going to take a look at a brand new feature to Adobe Camera Raw that allows us to merge images. Let's jump in and see how it's done. So here I am in Bridge, and I've got my three images all selected. And what I want to do is make those into an HDR image. So I'm going to make sure they're all selected and then I'm going to go and click on this icon here that will open the images in Adobe Camera Raw. Now there's a few changes here. They look a little bit different. You can see it says film strip up here. And we've also got this fly out menu. Now there was a couple of buttons up here. One of them said select all and that can be found now in the fly out menu. So let's select all. Now you may also have noticed when I clicked on the fly out menu that we have merge to panorama and merge to HDR. I'm going to choose merge to HDR and up comes my dialog box. And just like in merge to HDR pro, I can align the images and I can de-ghost the results. I'm happy with that. I'm going to press merge and off it goes. Now it may not look like it's doing anything, but if you look down the bottom of the screen, it says one remaining. It's actually saving an image for me, and it's just the one. Now it's not going to take too long. I'm going to let this run in real time just so you can see how quick or how pacey maybe it is. But it doesn't take that long. Here we go. Here we are. We're all up. All I've got to do now is click on that, and you can see that we've got our HDR image. It's already saved it as a DNG file. And I can go ahead and change this as much as I like. There we go, let's take those down and maybe bring the blacks and the shadows up a little bit. There we go, I'm not gonna to spend too long on this. And there we go, a very natural HDR, no haloing, not even where the trees meet the sky, which is quite nice. And I'm just gonna click done. And when I do that, you can see that my DNG file is right next to my other three files that made that up. It's so much easier, a really helpful workflow. And that's making HDR in the new flyout menu of Adobe Camera Raw. Don't forget to have a look around Tipsquirrel and see what else you can find. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.